All right, good morning. I'm back and I'm going to be covering Mario Murillo. Someone asked me if I could look into him and so I thought, sure, why not? Let's see what I can find super quickly. Now, already off the bat, I'm looking at a letter M at the top of his page. Of course, that's his initial, right, you might say. But let's just see what comes to mind. Like for me, it's Master Mason, um, you know, the M, how they're doubles, like at Hillsong, you know, one of their CD albums, maybe Marilyn Monroe, maybe so many other names that come to mind and what it actually means. But hey, it's just a start. Let's just keep looking. Now, I noticed that he has a 99 right there. Why did he have to throw that in? It has nothing to do with what's in that picture otherwise. Just to add color, I mean, really? I mean, 99 equals 18, which 18 is like saying 666. I'm just pointing it out, just making a note of it. And also just see how he's also promoting Lance Wall now. All right, so that's just off the bat. We already know. Maybe you guys don't know who Lance Wall now is. I used to listen to a lot of these people, so this was very difficult for me to do when I first started. But then I started to research and look at more things, and then I started to understand who they truly are. Like Rick Joyner, just look at his name and type in Knights of Malta, and you'll find his picture there. So let's just get right back into it because Lance and David Harris Jr. also work together and I have a video on that. I've uploaded it. I'll add the link. But let's just keep this simple because it could get otherwise a little too complicated. So we're going to look straight in Facebook and just pull out some pictures from there. Okay. This is really easy. So get ready. Here we go. Now already you'll see the first picture I found was this one here. There's Lance, of course, Kuhneman, and Charlie Kirk. Oh yeah, I just did a video on Charlie Kirk. So please go to watch. I'm not going to say anything more. But we're off to a great start, right? Absolutely. Maybe you'll recognize some familiar faces here and possibly here as well. Look, I'm not saying anything except for that God can use anyone and his word goes forth regardless of if they're living the life towards God or not. That's all I want to say, whether they're false teachers or wolves, whatever you want to call them. So let's keep going. You might see some familiar names there too, like Woma, maybe Cindy Jacobs, maybe Sean Foyt, again, again, David Harris Jr. See how the names keep going round and round. Notice Terry Copeland. Yeah, that's Kenneth Copeland's daughter. And Kenneth Copeland, what? He wanted to be one with the Pope, the Vatican Church. Oh, really? Okay. So that's his daughter. But let's keep looking. We have Flynn. Ah, General Flynn, who's a Catholic. And they have him on the show. Okay, this is getting very interesting. Donald Trump Jr. Ah, yes. They love Trump. Plus, they have Jesse Waters from the Fox News. Now, we all understand how corrupt the news is, so I'm just pointing it out. But this one takes the cake. Mike Lindell. Ah, yes, the pillow guy. How he's connected to so many others. I really should do a video just on him and him alone, but maybe one day. But I have him in almost every video, so take a look. But this one takes the cake right here. Bill and Binny. Ah, Johnson. If you don't know anything about them, please look at grave soaking, grave sucking, whatever you want to call it. That's what they were doing, thinking that they could suck the spirits and get that into them. Let me tell you how corrupt and evil and wicked that thought is right there. And I have a video of Bill Johnson saying that he was going to repent. So please watch that to understand a little bit more. I'm not going to get into it. But you can see a whole lot. I've done so many videos even on Awaken, The Send. This is with because he's united with Lou Engel, who also kissed the feet of a priest to show unity with the Catholic Church. And the other priest kissed Lou's feet as well, by the way. Hmm. Let's look at a few other pictures. No one is going to change America except the church. Really? Consider that for a moment. Can the people inside the church change America? Well, they can pray, absolutely. Prayer is powerful, but 
only God, only God can change the things around. He can change people's minds. And is God training a remnant to save a nation? So, again, no. It says that in the end times that many will fall away. Only God can change this chaos. God is above it all. And all I keep saying is keep trusting in him. Don't trust in man. Don't trust in me. Don't trust anyone. Because revival has started. No. Once again, no. Revival is not coming. There is a falling away. I'm happy that people are coming to accept Jesus into their heart. That is a fabulous thing. Praise God. They, everyone has to realize that we're all living in sin. We need Jesus. And praise God to all those people that turn to him during this wicked time that we're living in. We have to realize that he's our only hope and our only joy. The only one that will help us through this. I mean, spiritually, mentally, every, every way. So there's no revival coming. Even the Bible says just of the falling away. But I'm just pointing that out. So... I really hope people stop trusting in men and women and start testing what they're saying and and doing and how they're affiliated with so many of these people. Don't listen to what people say. Watch what they do. Watch. Because the deception in the last days, it's clear. It's clear to so many if you just stop and and do some research because their, their affiliation with each other, it's so easy to find. They love sharing and they have to probably. Just keep your eyes on Jesus, because that's all I can say right here. All right, that's it. God bless you guys. Take care. Have a great day. Till next time. If there's one thing we've learned, it's that birds of a feather flock together. And when I see that he's spoken at Bethel, associates with Patricia King, and has been on the Sid Roth Show, warning bells go off.